The calendar is a global tool within my courses. This means that you can view more than one calendar even if you're an in an individual course. You can add or delete calendars from the list easily. You can also filter which calendars you wish to see. Lastly, you can also change the colors of the various calendars so you know which course each event is from. I'm going to go ahead and click on the calendar tab on the nav bar. Now across from, and depending on which view you're in, and you may want to watch the tutorial on the view, across from the navigation arrows, you're going to see the name of the course that you've entered. That's right here. This means that you're viewing only the events for this individual course. I'm going to click on the context menu next to the name of the course, and there's a number of things that are in here. The first one is filtering calendars. Clicking on show all calendars will display all events for all of the calendars that you are on the class list. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now it doesn't look any different here, except it, on this view you'll get to see the name of the course right here. But for example, let's just change to the month view, um, and this will display each event and with a different color. Placing your mouse over the event will show you at the end which course this is from. So that one is from my quick guide. This one's from Sandbox. This one is St. Petersburg College. So the different colors help on that. Now I'm going to click on the context menu again and clicking on the name of a specific course will let you filter for that particular course. So now I'm only seeing the calendar even though I'm in my my quick guide course. So again if I switch between courses you'll notice that it will take me into that specific course. Now the last thing that you can do with filtering is let's say it's the end of the semester and you no longer want to see the course that you that you that you've already ended. I can simply click on the X next to the name of that course and then go back and filter it for that one. It will no longer show up in the list. Clicking on the context menu, the next one is about this change color. So if I click on the change calendar colors icon, this will bring up uh, a calendar palette. I can choose a calendar from the drop-down, whatever course, I'm going to stay here. I can choose a um, color palette and then I can use this little slider to mark to show the intensity of that course going up and down. When I have that all done I can click apply and then I can go to the next course and choose a different one there maybe a different color and then again click apply. When I'm all done click done and you'll notice the colors will change for those courses. If I go up here and choose all calendars again you'll see that the colors have changed. The last thing under the context menu is clicking on the add calendar will allow you to add calendars back to the list that you've deleted off. Um, you should note um, that so what you can do is click the checkbox next to the ones you want but you also will note that you can look at active or courses that are inactive meaning that those courses have are no longer um, available to students. I can search the calendar if I want. Once I choose the ones that I want I click add and they will now be added back to the list and again you'll see it changes to 12 calendars here and they're in the list here. So this little calendar icon or this little change you know this little calendar menu is a wonderful little tool to help you to manage how what calendars you're seeing which ones you're not changing colors 